free BSD, a complete Unix-like operating system whose famously underappreciated code is the backbone of some of the most profitable consumer tech products of the modern age. The Berkeley Software Distribution was a project led by Bill Joy in 1978 at UC Berkeley, where the goal was to beef up Unix with some extra features. The original BSD died long ago, but lives on in OpenBSD, NetBSD, and its most popular variant, FreeBSD. Unlike Linux, it's offered with a non-copyleft license, which allows companies like Apple to borrow its code to power Darwin, aka Mac OS, iOS, watchOS, etc., then commercialize it with their own proprietary license. Nintendo and Sony also use it to power their Switch and PlayStation game consoles, WhatsApp used it to scale up to billions of messages, and it's loved on the server for its high-performance networking stack and reputation for bulletproof stability. The most striking difference compared to Linux, though, is its monolithic design. Linux is just a kernel and needs friends or modules like GNU to call itself a complete OS. But in FreeBSD, the kernel, the drivers, and the user land tools are all developed and maintained together. It's a complete OS out of the box, and it's the desktop OS of choice for programmers at the top 0.01% of the programmer dominance hierarchy. It works with all the popular desktop environments like GNOME, KDE Plasma, Cinnamon, you name it. And it supports a surprisingly large collection of third-party software that can be installed via the Ports Package Manager. To get started, download FreeBSD to a thumb drive and make it bootable. Now stick it into your computer and go through the guided install. As you begin to learn its ways, you'll be amazed by its incredibly comprehensive documentation. Now when you first pull up the terminal, it might look like Linux, but there are some key differences. This terminal is not Bash, the born-again shell, but rather shh the old-fashioned born shell. The Unix file system is the traditional default, but it also supports the Z file system, which does end-to-end -end checksumming and can take snapshots of the file system. To explore it, we can use familiar Unix commands like CD, and its root structure looks nearly identical to Linux, except for directories like rescue for rescue binaries, or this entropy file, which ensures that random numbers and cryptographic functions have enough randomness. Now, when a machine boots up, it runs an init system to configure the machine and run daemons in the background. On Linux, that's typically system D, but FreeBSD takes a more traditional approach with RC scripts. When it comes to packages, you can install them as binaries just like a .deb or .rpm file, or you can use the ports collection, which is a framework of make files and patches, custom tailored for installing applications from source. This has been FreeBSD in 100 seconds, and you're now one of the rare humans who can say, I use FreeBSD by the way. But an operating system is useless until you learn how to use it to solve problems in the real world, and you can start developing your problem solving solving skills for free today, thanks to this video sponsor, Brilliant. The beauty of FreeBSD is the simple approach it takes to solving problems. Brilliant's platform will introduce you to essential programming concepts, but most importantly, the hands-on exercises will develop your brain to recognize and solve complex problems that developers need to overcome on a daily basis. Best of all, every lesson is concise and rewarding. By investing just a few minutes each day, you'll develop habits that can level up your programming skills for the rest of your life. And you can do it anywhere, even from your phone. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash fireship or scan this QR code for 20% off their premium annual subscription. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.